Today we're going to be planting some fruit trees in the woods for just for wildlife. Um, one things to consider is you know what you're planting for. A lot of this is going to be for turkeys and stuff, so we do got a spot where we're putting more of them, and uh, you know with tree tubes, and then said so we're going to cage some of them. Uh, make sure you water them. If it's good, it's going to rain tonight, so I'm not worried about watering these today. Um, we will be back up here in the next couple of days, and we'll water them then if we need to. It's supposed to rain then also. But a big thing to consider when you're planting these or making your plans is to make sure you're not putting trees that animals want that they might be there on your way to where you're going. You know, and we said this in other place, in other videos. You know, so don't put a tree on your way to a tree stand. You know, where a deer might be. So put them where, you know, plant it well so you can get them off to the sides, you know, where you're not going to be scaring things off of it because if you're putting food there, you know, that's where they'll be. Right? Okay, this is a proper way to plant trees in your woods for wildlife. They're off the spot. This is the spot that we're going to be putting a lot of trees in because it's on the north side of a food plot and I want some cover and stuff in here so we're going to put some uh, trees. First you take this and then you open it up, take a tree, palm tree, put it in here and you face the roots up but get them in the ground. Take it, and then again, you just tighten it up. That's the proper way to plant a tree using a Jim Jam tree planter. This one we're going to be putting a tree tube on to protect and help it grow quicker. One plum tree planted. You're going to want to make sure you're picking places that has enough light. Some trees don't need full light, but uh, make sure you know what you're doing as far as that goes. This is where we're putting it right next to the swamp here, but it'll get, it'll get enough sun for what we're putting here.
Now we won't be watering any of these trees today. The ground's pretty wet and it's gonna be raining today or tonight and, and, and tomorrow. So I don't want it to get too wet, so otherwise be watering if it's not talking rain. So and the gnats are horrible. The main reason for planting so many fruit trees on our land is we want diversity for wildlife. We want to give them so many different reasons to come to our property. And like we said, we don't, we don't, and we got to plan it well. You know, you, if you don't plan it well, you're going to be spending the money on these things, and it'd be, just be a waste because you'll be moving them or getting rid of them. So a proper plan is, is, is really good, and uh, that's what we have. And you know, in the end, we might end up getting rid of a couple for you know some place. Most of them I feel pretty confident on, but uh, just make sure you plant the tree. You know, you do it the right way, because you know there's the way of doing it. You know, how you put the roots and all that stuff. There's different ways. We'll put a uh, diagram about that on the video. So otherwise, till next time. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our page.